class? Sorry? Why are you in this class? What do you hope to get from it? Be because I need to study English. I need to learn English. I, I will go to the Boston. Ah, very yes. good. And I need to practice my, my English because okay. it's basic. Yes, yes, okay, you're definitely in the right place. Uh, Boston is a really nice city. I hope you enjoy it there. Uh, hello, Mauricio. Good afternoon, Kevin. Uh, how are you today? I am doing well. I am doing well. Okay. I'm really sorry for for leaving your class before it finishes, but uh, well, I had to do to do. I had I, I had to do uh, something here. Oh, don't worry sorry. about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, if you have time after this class, I would love to have you stick around for a minute or two uh, because I wanted to talk to you about what's coming up next. But we won't worry about that right now. Okay. okay. Hello, Oliver. Oliver? Oliver, how's Chile? Okay, he's not talking. Hello, Ria. Hi, Kevin. How are you? I am doing well. I hope you are. Yes, I'm fine, too. Good, good. Very quickly, if you could introduce yourself to some of the people who don't know you. Yes. Hello, everybody. My name is Ria. I'm from India, and I'm a student. I'm studying engineering. And the engineering. Very good. Uh, Salvador. How are you, Salvador? Hi. Thank you, Kevin. And you? I am doing well, thank you. Uh, would you please very quickly introduce yourself? Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Salvador. I'm from El Salvador in Central America. Um, it's a good pleasure to be and share this forum with all of us. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome. And uh, Igor. Yeah. Quickly introduce yourself, please. My name is Igor. I am from Russia, from the southern part of Russia, from Volgograd city. That's oh, all. Volgrad. So you're from Volgograd. OK. Very good. Very good. Juan. Hello, Juan. How are you? Hello, everybody. This is Juan from Mexico City. Um, I work as a carpenter, and I try to improve my English. All right. Welcome. Welcome. We have many different people. Mao Singh. Mao Singh, how are you? Mao Singh, can you hear me? Mao Singh? Hello? OK. Let's see. Let me ask her. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and I want to get started right away because we have vocabulary to discuss and to cover. Uh, let's see. I've got to bring the document up. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Can everyone see this? Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay. Excellent. 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 And let me bring that. Uh, this is there. There's several parts to this class. One part of it is to um, good grief. What's going on with this silly thing? To identify uh, body parts, and we'll also talk about different, different um, illnesses that you can have. So what I'd like to do first is. Um, is uh, this? I'll run through some of this and just ask you to identify parts of the body. This is a very, very basic introductory class. So let's start with uh, Igor. Igor, nose. Just what? Repeat. What should I do? Just repeat. Just repeat. Yeah. At this mm -hmm. point. Nose. Good. Juan, mouth. Yeah. No, just repeat. Mouth. Mouth. Good. Let's see. Mao Singh, head. Okay. Uh, Marcelo, head. Marcelo. Okay, this is getting really interesting. Mauricio, head. Hello, sir. I'm here. Hello. Okay. Can you just repeat? Head. Head. Good. Oliver, tooth and teeth. 
tooth and teeth. Very good. More than one tooth is a teeth. Uh, Ria, ears. Ear and ears. ears. Good. Ear uh, and ears. Very good. Salvador, eye and eyes. Eye and eyes. Okay. And you know what these parts are, I am guessing. All right. Let's go, Igor. Uh, arms? Arms. Good, good, good. Juan, back? Back. Very good. Mao Sing, chest? Mao Sing, chest? Okay. Marcelo, legs? Marcelo, legs? Okay. Um, Mauricio, chest? Yes, sir. Can you say chest? chest? Good. Um, Oliver, legs? Legs. Good. Ria, stomach? Stomach. Yeah, m m some people say stomach because it's a C-H, but you pronounce it correctly, stomach. And don't ask me why it's that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Salvador, hand and hands? Hand and hands. Very good. Uh, Igor, foot and feet? Foot and feet. Very good. And uh, Juan, neck? Neck. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, here's a conversation uh, between a doctor and a patient, and I'd like, if we can, uh, Mao Singh, are you there? Mao Singh? Okay. Marcelo? Okay. Mauricio, I would like you and Oliver. Uh, Mauricio, you are doctor. Oliver, you are patient, okay? Okay. Yes. Okay, start Mauricio. What is the problem today? My legs hurt. Your leg? Yes, my leg. Okay. Um, one quick thing, Oliver. You said my legs hurts. Be careful. Uh, if there's no S, you might. You don't want to um, make that mistake. Ah. Oh, All right. Not a problem. It's different in Spanish. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Now here's how we do different things with the language. Um, we're going through the same it, they. My, me, okay? So, let's see. Ria, if yes. it's it, it hurts. My leg hurts. So, repeat that. It, it hurts. My leg hurts. It, it hurts. My leg hurts. Very good. Salvador, my leg hurts. Oh, we've got that. My arm hurts. My arm hurts, okay? okay. My arm hurts. My arm hurts. Very good. Now, Igor, let's do simply, uh, my foot hurts. My foot hurts, okay? Mm, okay, my foot hurts. Very good. And uh, Juan, my head hurts. My, my head hurts. Go ahead. My head hurts. Okay. So, we see what it's like if it's I or my. The word is hurts, which is why I had asked you to make sure you said that. Now we go over to they. Mao Sing, can you hear? Yes. Okay. I want to say they hurt. My legs hurt. Okay? Okay. They. My legs. They hurt my legs. Oh, so it's they hurt, then my legs hurt. Okay? Okay. They hurt my legs. My legs hurt. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see. Marcelo. Marcelo. My feet hurt. My feet hurt. Okay? My feet hurt. Okay. My feet hurt. <laughs> All right. Um, Mauricio. My ears hurt. My ears hurt. My, my ears. My ear hurts. My ears hurt. Uh, not quite what I was looking for, but yeah, <laughs> that'll do just fine. My, All right. Could I repeat? Sure. Okay. My ears hurt. My ear hurts. Very good. Now, we've done the, the practice. I want to go and ask, let's see, we'll start with Oliver, to go ahead and use a word in a sentence. For example, if it was leg, we'd say in the singular, my leg hurts. In the plural, my legs hurt. Or if it's arm, my arm hurts, or my arms hurt. Um, okay, Oliver, start with head, please.
Alor, you there? Yeah, okay. I, I am. But okay. I, I, I just want help. I just have, have so um, okay. my, my head hurts. There you go. My head hurts. Excellent. But, but in plural. Yeah, well, there is no plural. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, <laughs> that's why it's blue. There, there is no plural. Um, oh. Okay, you see? Yeah, I guess. All right. Rhea. Yeah. Yes. Foot. My foot hurts. My feet hurt. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Salvador, back. My back hurts. Very good. All right. Um, Igor, uh, let's see. Eye. My eye hurts. My eyes hurt. Very good. Um, Juan, let's see. Nose. My nose hurts. Yeah, there is no plural. Unless you were very, very strange. All right. Uh, Mal Singh, ear. My ear hurts. Very My ears hurt. My ears hurt. Very good. Very good. Okay, we're not going to worry about this. Uh, Kevin, could yes. I make yes. a question? Sure. What is the name? Thank you. What is the name of that mytholo mythological be being who has uh, snakes on uh, a lot of snakes on the head? That was Medusa. Ah, uh, Medusa. Medusa. So in that case, when Medusa can says can say uh, my my heads my heads hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I might steal that. <laughs> and, and there was also, um, let's see, well, there was the Hydra, um, the Hydra? which had, uh. it had multi heads. You knock off one head, two more grew. Um, or the Chimera, which had the heads of a body, a lion, and the tail shaped like a snake. Um, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Mauricio. <laughs> Thank you. <sir. laughs> okay. Uh, well, that was your turn. <laughs> okay. Okay, Marcelo. Um, I have a headache. Okay, just say that, please, Marcelo. I have a headache. I have a headache. Go ahead, Marcelo. Nope. Okay, Mauricio, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, you, uh, it's, it's a little blur. Could you make it bigger? Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I really should, shouldn't I? Is there we go? Uh, uh, I, you, we, they have. Yes. I have a. I have a headache. Yes. We have a headache. You have a a, a headache. They have a headache. And the okay. other one. No, I want uh, Oliver to do that, please. The part with he shit? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, she has a stomach. Stomach a ache. Stomach Remember that? Ache. Yeah, stomach very good. Ache. Good. She has a stomach ache. Yeah. She has a stomach ache, and it has a stomach ache. Very good. That's all I'm worried about. Um, a, he, she, it, it has. I, you, we, they have. All right, Rhea, yes. go ahead and do the negative. Okay. Uh, I, you, we, they, and do not have. I don't have a headache. <laughs> you do not have a headache. We don't have a headache. They don't have a headache. Very good. That's all I was looking for. Excellent. Uh, Salvador, he, she, it. He does not have a headache, a stomach ache. She does not have a stomachache. Yeah. It does not have a stomachache. Okay. It, you know, we, we say he, she have a stomachache, and that makes sense. What would an it be? She doesn't have a stomachache. Okay. What kind of it wouldn't have a stomachache or would have a stomachache? Could be uh, animal. What is, yeah. A pit. Yeah, yeah, an animal of some kind, pig, a horse, a cat, 
Um, all of those animals get sick too. A baby? So, a baby? Well, a baby is still a he or a she. Um, but if, if, you don't, if you don't know the sex? Well, then you wouldn't know if it was um, in the womb, in utero, whether it had a stomach ache or not, would you? I mean, if you are looking or have seen a very a small baby, a recently born baby, but it's not your baby, so you don't know if they is a female or a male. Well, that's then, a little obscure, but yeah, okay. Then, could you say in that case, it seems that it has a stomach cake? Yeah, I mean, if you just heard a kid howling, a baby howling someplace, um, and you don't know the baby or which baby it is, or the baby was covered in a blanket and you couldn't tell if it was a girl or boy, yeah, then you could say it has a stomach ache. Because in a recently born baby, if you don't see the penis, it's hard to say if there is female or male. You see in the face. And that's kind of hard to do. <laughs> 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 All right, let's let's go forward. <laughs> All right, that was Salvador. Uh, Igor, complete this sentence, please. Or my ando. What I, what should I do? Complete okay. complete yeah. from what? From, from what word? Okay, you need to say have or has the way we've used it above here. Ah, okay. We're down okay. here. Okay. Good. Or my or my mother has a headache. Headache. Has a headache. A headache. Headache. Very good. One. Number two. Uh, he has a cough. Very good. Uh, Mal, nothing. He he has a fever. Okay. Very good. Marcelo. He has a fever. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Mauricio? No, he has an earache. An earache. An earache. An earache. Very good. Poor guy. Uh, <laughs> poor guy. Yeah, we're not done uh, yet, poor guy. <laughs> Go ahead, Oliver. How uh, can sorry. I say a f what, sorry. what number? Uh, number four, please. Number five, please. He has a sore throat. Okay. And uh, Ria, number six. He has a stomach ache. Okay, and as Marcelo, I think it was Marcelo, or maybe Oliver said, this guy is in really, really bad shape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he probably has the flu. I, I don't know about where you are, but we've had a lot of people come down with influenza, and it's not been good. Okay, now we're going to have, let's have some fun with this, okay? Let's see. I'm going to ask each one of you to name some kind of illness, some kind of disease, and tell me what the symptom is, or the symptoms are, if you can think of a couple. For example, measles, you see red spots on the body, and they also have a fever. What okay. is measles? Um, it is a, a disease. It's an illness. Hang on a sec. Yeah, yeah, I got but what is this? I it, can figure that's it what out. it's called. It's called measles. That's the name of it. And you have red spots in your yeah, body, yeah. in your face. Red spots all over your body, all over your body. And what else? And you have a fever. You get hot. Your body gets hot. Can you die for that? It killed many, many people many years ago. Mainly yeah. kids. Mainly children. That's right. Although it did kill adults too. It needs some kind of antibiotics? Um, usually, not so much an antibiotic, uh, because measles is caused by a virus, and a antibiotics virus. don't um, work on a virus. Yeah, I got it. So what you do is you manage the symptoms. You put the person to bed. You give them things to bring the fever down. Uh, you keep them a, quiet. A lot of water. Yeah, a lot thing, of water. Yeah. The, the but, good thing about it yeah. is that you only have once in life. Yes. And, of course, the way you prevent dying or getting the measles is you get an injection. You get a shot. And that when, you gives... are, when you are a kid. Yes. Yes. Um, in, uh, in the United States, you have to have a certain number of, of shots uh, before they'll even let you in schools. Okay. Um. 
So let's go. And uh, yes, yes. Be well, of course. I'm sorry, Oliver. I guess that we call it viruela. Um, could you type that for me? Um, uh, no, I can't because my Colingo chat doesn't work. Okay, now there sorry. is a disease called rubella, which is the German measles, and the symptoms are very, very similar. And I didn't get that till I was in college. Carantion. Carantion? Carantion or rubella. Oops, I just messed myself up. Okay. Some, saram, sarampo, sarampo. Okay, Marcelo, well, thank you. Yeah. All right, where were we? Now, Igor. Yes. Give me the name of a disease. Any disease. Lymphosarcoma. Oh, lymphosarcoma. Yes. Okay. Uh, can, can I have a question? Certainly. Uh, what dif what different uh, between disease and illness? Wow. You okay. <laughs> there is an illness. The an illness. They mean the same thing. Okay. But when we say an illness, it tends to be short term. Um, a cold, mild flu, uh, which is influenza. Okay, mild, mild. Okay, disease tends to mean longer term or more. Virulent. Virulent means more deadly. Uh, when we say a disease, measles is a disease. It's not an illness, um, although we look at it that way. Um, but a disease tends to be very, very, very sick. Uh, mm -hmm. An illness, mildly sick. You see the difference? Yes, yes, thank although, you. They, they mean pretty much the same thing, though. Okay, my words lymphosarcoma, but yeah. I, I don't know what is it. Um, let's, <laughs> let's find out. L y m p h o s a r lymphosarcoma. Okay, it's a cancer. Cancer. It's a cancer. It's a type of cancer. Oh my God. Um. <laughs> You don't understand. <laughs> My father died from lymphosarcosa, wow. not Hodgkin's lymphoma. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That was you know ten years ago, and I'm glad people know about it. The symptoms are: you just get um, tired and tired and tired and tired. And it's a disease. Cancer is a disease. It's very long term, and it often kills you. Uh, my father had it for three years before he died. And again, it, it just made him more tired and more tired and more tired um, until he died. And it's one of those things where um, luckily we knew he was sick, we knew he was dying, and we would come up and spend time. So to the extent that a death can be good, it was a good death. Okay, Juan, give me a disease, please. A disease, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> the flu? Okay, the flu, influenza. Marco says flu as well. What are the symptoms of flu? Flu, you uh, know, runs. Uh, you had a headache. Uh, you can get fever too. Um, you cough. I think that's all. Okay, and that is in flu in za. And let me uh, write that out. Influenza. Um, influenza can be deadly. Um, we have in the United States an outbreak of it here. It's pretty serious. A couple of people have died from it, but it's nothing like this terrible, terrible influenza that went through the country about 90 years ago. Many, many people died from it. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm sorry? Diphtheria. Oh, diphtheria. Who said diphtheria? Mouthing? Yes, diphtheria is a disease of throat. You know, there is a membrane in the throat and it is very dangerous. Patient can die with diphtheria. So you it say inflamed membranes? It is most common in children. Okay, children. Okay. Children, it is most common in children. That's a good one. That's a good, a good one. Thank you. Well, it's not a good one, but it's good to know about. Marcelo, how about you, Marcelo? I'm fine, and you? I am doing well. Give me a disease, please. Sorry? A disease. We're talking about different illnesses. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you got to know of one. We've talked about measles and diphtheria and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, what else? Whooping cough. Whooping cough. Who said whooping cough? This is a yeah. continuous cough. In, in okay. Cough you've in had general. your... <laughs> Melvin, you've had your disease. <laughs> I am a doctor. Yes, yes, I understand. I saw that on your posting. Very good. Welcome. Uh, Thank you. Let's see. Do you want to go with whooping cough? Uh, Marcelo? Yeah. No. Okay, give me one then. Okay, I'll come back to you, okay? Uh, Mauricio. Mauricio. Uh, asthma. Asthma. That's the one. Asthma. Ooh, what is asthma? Um, is characterized by inflammation of the bronchial tops. Okay. And, and uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, and symptoms may be uh, coughing, mm -hmm. especially at night. Okay. Uh, wheezing. Mm -hmm. uh, shortness of breath. Shortness of breath, yeah. Of breath. Thank yeah. You. And mm, maybe pain. Pain or pressure, and chest tightness. Chest tightness. Yes, yes. Nasty thing, nasty thing. Okay, let's see. We're getting all sorts of diseases on the side here. Uh, tuberculosis, syphilis, cirrhosis, pollen allergies, typhus. Good Lord. Um, Antic fever. Typhoid fever or antique fever? Uh, what he says is typhus. That would be, I'm, I'm assuming. Typhoid fever. Yeah, so that typhus is, is that the bacteria? Or, yes, bacteria typhus. infection. Yes. In yes. which there is a fever. Uh, okay. Loss, loss of appetite. Yeah. Feeling of weakness. Okay. Anorexia. Anorexia, you get skinny. <clears throat> okay, mm -hmm. Igor says hemorrhoids. <laughs> yes, hemorrhoids. <laughs> that is Lady a medical hemorrhoids. <laughs> Characterized by the inability to sit down. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, Oliver. Oliver, tell me one. Oliver. Nothing. Myocardial infarction. Okay. No, no, stop! 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 <laughs> <laughs> The doctor can help us if we get stuck. <laughs> I'm glad we have a doctor with us. <laughs> okay, Ria. Nemo pneumonia. No, 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 no. <laughs> Please let Ria talk. <laughs> he likes this. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Yes. Uh, chicken pox. Ooh, chicken pox. Now, what does chicken yeah. pox look like? Uh, <clears throat> uh, you, you have a uh, red itchy rash on your skin mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes you have fever and uh, other symptoms are abdominal pain and loss of appetite and sometimes you can have also a mild headache and a dry cough. Yes, and a dry cough and a dry cough. Um, and now tell me, do people um, yeah. vaccinate against chickenpox? Yes. 
yes, okay. Now, Sawad, powerless and asexual is UAL, by the way. Uh, <laughs> we're not going there. We're not going there. <laughs> All right, Salvador, Salvador. Thank you, Ria. Okay. Um, Gillian Barre. Ooh. Tell me about it. I don't know if I spelled it properly. Okay. Um, you can walk because you don't feel your legs. And the legs don't work. Okay. That's uh, that's that's nasty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Very what? Deep. Yeah. What about? And I'm really going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to start out by asking the doctor. What about mental illnesses? Psychosis. Psychosis. Schizophrenia. Okay, now stop, stop. <laughs> S K T C O P H R E N I A S C H, I think it is. Schizophrenia. Uh, yeah. Uh, bipolar, bipolarity is the bipolarity. same as is the same, is different, or, or bipolarity or is very different. Um, uh, schizophrenia, you tend to have a very, very um, delusional split view of the mind. world. I'm sorry. The split mind. A split mind. Um, a, 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 what they call a split personality. You're like one person is kind of normal, and the rest is just weird. Um, yes. A psychosis is one where you could be, for example, paranoid, thinking the world is out to get you, or you hear Martians talking to you, or something like that. Bipolarity is characterized by mood swings. A person who is bipolar can be very, very, very high one minute, just full of life and energy, or really angry, or they drop down into a depression. They're very, very uh, sad. And some people it goes very quickly, and some it goes over long term. Um, there are some very famous people who uh, who are bipolar. Uh, they say Abraham Lincoln was um, Vivian Lee, who was in Gone with the Wind. Uh, those are those are other people. So that's bipolarity. Well, what is the One. name of the actor? Uh, uh, Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry is bipolar as well. Is Vincent Price? No, uh, Stephen. Uh, Stephen Fry. Oh, Stephen Fry. Yeah, yes. Yes. The, the British actor. Yes. Um, Robin Williams. Oh, really? For, oh, yeah. Huh. It, you, you can tell from watching him. Um, often people who are such brilliant um, improvisational people, they have bipolarity. Um, the ballet dancer Nijinsky, um, I think, was psychotic. Um, okay, and then I got a question about Alzheimer's. And here's how you would spell it, A-L-Z-E-H-E-I-M-E-R, Alzheimer's disease. Um, that's what President Reagan died of. Um, doctor, would you like to tell us about Alzheimer's? Okay. With Alzheimer's, you just gradually lose the ability to think. Um, medically, uh, your brain starts getting um, growth, crusts, coats on the different nerve cells and they are less able to function. Basically, you no longer have a brain to think with. It's gone. You lose your memory, you lose your ability to function, and eventually you die. It's a terrible thing. Okay, anything else? Yeah, neuron, neurons died. Yeah, close. They're not dead, they just can't function. Okay, they just can't function. And you can't stop it. Boy, that's depressing. <laughs> um, but that's part of our, our class. Would anyone like to talk about any other illness, disease, syndrome? Depression. Depression. Okay. Let's talk about that. Now, who said depression? Was it you, Mel? Depression. Patient means that he, he cannot uh, think easily and he remains uh, secluded from other persons. Does that about say it right? 
Yeah. You yeah. see it over there on the side, doctor? He doesn't like to talk to other persons. What does secluded mean? Sorry. It's hidden away. Hidden Not away. Yeah. Now, 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 can you explain the difference <clears throat> between someone who is just sad, says I'm feeling depressed, and someone who has depression? What's the difference? The time. The time, what do you mean? Well, if you are, are feeling down for a couple of hours someday, well, it's not so big deal. But if you are awake day after day feeling sad, so you have to the bed feeling bad, and that could be for months on, of, or years, well, mm -hmm. <laughs> in that case you have a depression. So you have this thing on an ongoing basis. It's not just feeling sad. Uh, yeah, depression exists everywhere. It's, and, and again, doctor, correct me if I'm in error. Um, it's caused by uh, a chemical imbalance. Is that correct? Not necessarily. Okay. What causes but it? Could, yeah? could, be, could be a chemical imbalance, mm -hmm. but, could, but could be some external factors too. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you have a, a little kid and you love it, it too much and they get killed or dead for some reason, well, mm -hmm. it's, it's, lo it's quite logical that you have some little depression about yeah. that. Okay. Now, would that be the same as medical depression, chronic depression, or is it short-term caused by something? Now, we're actually talking too much <laughs> about depression. No, it's but, okay. I, 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 yeah. feel, I feel bad, actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> from what I understand is depression is, is a very serious illness. Yeah. And, uh, and needs uh, to be dealt with. A, li a lot of people can't do a normal life because of depression. It's okay. hard to work. It's hard to get friends. It's hard to live with the depression. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Mauricio, Asperger's syndrome. Yes, it, well, uh, it's uh, it, ha it has to do with uh, autism. Autism. Okay. Uh, Tell it's me. Very interesting. Yes. Well, it's very interesting as far as I know because my 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 girlfriend uh, treated children with that problem. Mm -hmm. and, what? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. And it has to be is is characterized by significant difficulties in social interaction right um, but they are very clever they, they can solve um, a lot of problems they can do they can do things by themselves um, but they want they want to be in, in their in their own world I was just thinking of someone very very famous who um, might have had Asperger's <coughs> Has anyone heard of Emily Dickinson? Oh, sure. Emily, the the poet, the poetry. Yes, yes. The, the she wrote some stunningly beautiful poems. But how did she live her life? Does anyone know? No. Alone in the house. She almost never left her house. Almost never. She stayed home. In fact, she stayed upstairs most of the time. Um, she corresponded by letter, and most of the poems were actually in letters that she sent to other people. You know, I, I don't know if she had Asperger's or not, but it certainly looks like it to me. Mm. What, what do you think, Mauricio? You can always um, talk to your, your girlfriend about it. You can ask her. I mean, I think Emily is a classic example. Now, Sawad says, uh, suicide, when someone commits suicide, he kills himself or herself. And that is, uh, happens a lot with bipolar disorder. Um, they get so depressed, they can't function. And then as they come out of the depression, towards the manic episode, they, uh, they do kill themselves. Kurt Cobain, anybody hear of him? Who? 
He's Kurt yes. Okay. The 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 singer, the the leader of uh, of uh, I Nirvana. Of that band. Nirvana. Yeah, Nirvana. Kurt yes, Kurt sure, of course. <laughs> the great grunge band. Yeah. He was bipolar, <laughs> and then he committed yeah. suicide. It was regularly suicidal. He was treated for it, but it didn't work. Um, Everson, I don't understand your question. I could you do you not understand our class? Or are we a bit too advanced? This is supposed to be a beginner class. Okay, any other diseases? Any other diseases or should we move on? We, we don't have a lot of time. Alcohol, alcoholic hallucinosis. Hallucinosis. Okay. <laughs> L L call alcohol. No kalingaholic is different. Oh kalingaholic. Co <laughs> it's not, it's different. Co totally. <laughs> Holocism. <laughs> Kalingaholicism? Yes, but he's not a disease. <laughs> it, it could be. That is a syndrome. Yeah. Kind of like being bipolar. <laughs> You're a chronic disease. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's a loving God, there is no recovery from it. <laughs> You'll see your lives. Okay. Which means I will probably be here myself for the rest of my life because I'm having too much fun. Um, okay. Let's, we, we do need actually to move on a little bit. So let's, okay. <laughs> okay. We've done the body parts. I'm not going there. That, we've done this. Um, okay, let's do this. I, I don't know where we left off, so I'm going to start with um, Marcelo. Marcelo, there are sentences. There's a sentence on one side that's number one, and there's a response. And I'll do number one. How do you feel? I feel I'm fine. fine. Good. Okay, Marcelo, um... Let's see. Um, you, oh my God. Um, that's Mauricio. Go ahead, number two. Do you feel? Do you, do you feel okay? Uh, yes, I feel fine. Okay. Well, we, we don't have yes, I feel fine, and we've already taken that. With how do you feel? No, I feel ter terrible. Yeah. No, I feel terrible. Okay. Oh, yes. So Sorry, that was yes. Marcelo. Not a problem. All right. Let's move to Oliver. This one, please. Does Salan look well? Um, no, he doesn't. He looks sick. Looks sick. What a depressing class we're having today. Uh, <laughs> Ria. But, but you may be funny. You? <laughs> Ria, number four. Yes. How do they feel? They feel okay. If, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Salvador, number five. Sarah doesn't look well. No, she isn't feeling well. Okay. How depressing. All right. <laughs> um, now, this dialogue, I'd like to have, let's see, we'll start out with um, uh, Igor. And Juan, would you please yes. complete the sentence? Uh, Igor, do A, please. Do you feel okay? Juan? Yes, I am fine. All right. Number two, Mausang and Marcelo. How is Melanie? Thank you, doctor. Okay, Marcelo? She doesn't feel well. Excellent. Okay. And this is uh, Mauricio and Oliver? And how how do you feel? Very good, Oliver. I feel a truck backing down. <laughs> I, I feel, feel terrible. terrible. <laughs> yeah. I I hear a, a truck <laughs> going backward. You have uh, two Marcells. <laughs> I'll explain something in just a minute when we're done with this, uh, Ria. Um, yes. And uh, Salvador. You don't look very well. Salvador? No, uh, 
I don't feel so good. Uh, good, good. And we're going to go back with uh, Igor and Juan. But Juan, I want you to be A and Igor B, okay? Okay. Does Gerardo look okay? No, he looks sick. He looks sick. Looks sick. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something somewhat unique. I think it was Mauricio noticed I was laughing and starting to cough. I have asthma, okay? <laughs> I have it. And my son, when he was like 10 or 11, used to try to make jokes and act so funny that I would start laughing and that I would start coughing. He thought that was just the funniest thing in the world. Um, and it was. <laughs> it was. But... Um, I didn't feel too good. I didn't feel well at all. Uh, does anyone have weird children like that? Children? Sure. Yeah, my son tried to make me cough and gasp from laughter. My son tried to make me cough and gasp from laughter. And he did that because I have la asthma. Um, but I laugh so much in this class and all the others that I can't help it. I have too much fun. Okay? Mm -hmm. You guys don't mind that I have fun, do you? Mm, I don't know what you mean. Okay. Let me give you some yeah. words. Gasp. Uh, Okay, go ahead. Uh, I don't know. Uh, do you remember Reader, Reader's Digest? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, they have an article or a special place for, 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 for jokes. And mm -hmm. the headline say, uh, said, uh, the laughter, the, uh, the good medicine. Laughter the is best the best medicine. medicine. Uh, yes. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. And they're right. There was a very famous um, book called Anatomy of an Illness by a man named Norman Cousins. I don't know if you have heard of this or not, but it's one of those books that everyone should read when they're sick. Norman Cousins was an editor of a magazine and he went to the doctor and the doctor said he had some sort of terrible disease, okay? One that was going to kill him within six months time. All right? Well, he decided that since he was going to die anyway, he was going to have fun. So he started uh, watching funny movies and he started telling jokes and he just started doing all these things to make him laugh. He was cured. It was a miracle. They couldn't believe that he, um, that he got better from this illness. And he said, okay, well, it's because you're having fun, because you're having a good time. And he made himself laugh. One of the funniest jokes he did he was in the hospital, and he was, there we go, supposed to give a urine sample, okay? You know what urine is? Urine is pee, okay? Um, hello, Daniel. And, and, you know, they take it to test. Well, he took some iced tea, right, the drink, poured it in the sample thing. When the nurse came to collect his pee, it was iced tea. But she didn't know that. So he took it and said, do you mean this? <laughs> <laughs> the poor nurse ran out screaming. <laughs> but that's the sort of thing I would like to do. <laughs> Has anyone given that laughter is the best medicine, done something really silly like that. Uh, Juan, have you? Something yeah. funny. What did you do? Oh, my God. I don't know. 
Oh, come on. No, oh. no, no, really. I, okay. I, I can't think any... any. Uh, not everyone does things like that. All right, that's not a problem. Um, Dr. Mal Singh, what about you? I could not understand the question. Okay. Have you ever made a very, very funny joke? Or, I yeah. I did not make a funny joke. I never made a funny joke. Never. 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 Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Marcelo, how about you, my friend? I uh, I can only listen. You can only listen. Okay. <laughs> Marcelo, did you ever do anything? Have you ever done anything? Played a joke on someone? I don't know. I need to think about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Mauricio, how about you? You said uh, Pat Adams. Yes. Well, played a joke on someone, maybe, but I can remember what I do every day in, in yeah. the morning. Every morning yeah. is to, la to laugh, to laugh. Uh, how do you say? Um, but with without reason, C consciously. Oh, yeah. oh but that without makes sense. A reason. You don't have to have a reason. Yeah, if you exactly. can just laugh, I mean, that's supposed to release all sorts of endorphins in your body. Um, that's N D O R P H I N S. Uh, doctor, can you tell us, please, what endorphins are? Endorphins. What's an endorphin? A drug? It's a hormone, right? Within the body? It's a hormone, yes. It's a hormone. It makes a physical change. And we lost Rhea, but we have Soad. Okay. Salvador, how about you? Have you ever done something funny to someone? Made a big joke? No, I don't think so. So, so I, I can remember mm -hmm. right now. Okay, um, Igor, you're my last hope. <coughs> <laughs> Have you ever done anything? I can't explain it in English. Okay. Well, I I will share one that one of my sons played on another one. One son really, really liked root beer. You, you know what root beer is? Soft drink? Soda? Yes. It's like Coke. Uh, it's yeah, like Coke. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. We'll call it Coke. You know, Coke has a very dark color. Well, yeah. we had drunk it all and we weren't going to get any more. And my one son really liked it. The other one got into the kitchen and started playing with food coloring. And he thought, you know, I wonder if I could make Coke uh, or the color of it. So he started playing with food coloring. His mother never found out. He started playing with food coloring, and he ended up getting a bottle that looked just like Coke. Mm -hmm. And he put it in the refrigerator and called his brother. And he said, Peter. We have some Coke, look! <laughs> <laughs> Peter said, no, we don't. Yes, we do here! And he took a sip and got really angry. Two weeks later, my son did the same thing, and he fell for it again. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and I don't know where he gets his sense of humor from. Not at all. I'm such a serious guy, you know? <laughs> I work, work, work all the time. <laughs> I, I've done a few things too, if you'd believe that. Um, when I was in high when school, um, a friend and I volunteered to take all the school books and put them away at the end of the school year. And they thought we were wonderful kids for doing this. What we didn't tell anybody is that we put 10 or 15 little pieces of paper in every single book that said we were here so the next year when they opened the books all the little notes fell out and the entire floor was covered with those little notes they didn't like it very much <laughs> I thought it was funny and so did my friend and now years later they think so okay 
Any thoughts or comments about this class, English, me, America? Any questions at all? Well, the only I can say is that I spent a good time in this class. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's always a pleasure to be in your class. Well, thank you, thank you. I love having you. Um, I, I do. You are a very, you are a very funny man. Okay, thank you. <laughs> let's let's get everybody going here, so we can have a lot of fun. Okay, anybody else? This was a funny class. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll share one more story with you before it's time to go. All throughout my my younger days. I would do jokes like this. When my sister got married and had her children, and they would come home with all these jokes that all the kids know, you know what my sister did? She told each one of them, save the jokes for your Uncle Kevin. When you see him, he loves funny jokes. And we'd see them, and I would have to go off with them for an hour or two, well, they told me all of their funny jokes. I didn't mind. <laughs> I really <Poor> didn't mind. <laughs> okay, my friends. I, I don't like to be your nephew. <laughs> I, I, I have a jokes. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I went to go to uh, London. Yes. And my English is basic. So my friend told uh, for me, uh, go to the store. Mm -hmm. And you, you, uh, you told you told. Uh, do you do you? I don't want beans. Don't but, want beans, yeah. Yes, but there there are there weren't beans. Mm -hmm. Only chicken. <laughs> the man look for me beans. I don't have. <laughs> No, no, I don't want. I don't want beans. <laughs> so you said we only have chicken here, and you kept saying yeah, I don't want no. beans. Oh, that's Are terrible. You crazy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my sorry, goodness! Sorry, but I I don't get it. Can you explain it? Now, in other words, he he was told to walk into a store, and tell them that he didn't want any beans. Mm -hmm. This store didn't sell beans. It sold chicken. Okay. So he kept saying, I don't want beans. I don't want beans. And he didn't know the English. And they kept saying, we don't have beans. We only have chicken. Okay. So you had this mistake of language. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry for you, Matteo. 